You know, I just read a comment from someone who wrote that they knew my heart had grown cold due to all the darkness in the world. I don't I can't remember what it was due to exactly. And I thought, wow, then why does it hurt so much? Sometimes I wish it had grown cold. Do you do you feel things for I mean in in relation to what you are seeing happening I don't think I'm the only one here I know I'm not the only one It really well it boggles my mind how parents can send their kids to schools these these schools and what is happening in these schools cops raid school hold teacher at gunpoint terrify kids to look for an absent student community members are horrified after they say police officers conducted a classroom to classroom search with guns drawn and interrogated teachers and students in a charter school in Denver, Colorado, all to look for a student who was absent. While the police department released a statement justifying the incident, teachers are claiming that police are lying to save face. The principal of the school said the staff and students were traumatized. Officers officers stormed the school and began searching the classrooms and the principal said that when a science teacher told officers they could not search her room without a warrant they pushed her aside entered the classroom where they pulled students out of their chairs removed their hats and asked them for their IDs as they searched when I was sitting in, this is what one of the students said when I was sitting in class, they came bursting in, and then they were like in everybody's faces, looking at us, and I felt so unsafe. She said the officers singled one student out, grabbed him by the arm, and forced him to remove his hat so that they could compare him to the photo of the student they were targeting. The officers scoured the building, guns drawn, a faculty member opened a back door to check for students and multiple officers pointed their guns at her. So the Denver Police Department released this statement. The police department claimed that the officers that were inside did not draw their weapons at any point during the search for the suspect and they were responding Listen to this. They were responding to a suspect wanted for attempted first degree murder. An incident that happened the night before in another metro area jurisdiction. So the following day, they storm a school traumatizing the teachers and the students in a completely different jurisdiction. The officers had received information that the suspect was in the school and given the nature of the allegations believed the suspect posed a possible threat to students and staff. Wow. The statement claimed that police worked with the principal to eventually gain access to the building. And then after the raid, staff met with the principal to discuss the situation. The teachers and the faculty members, members at the school were saying the opposite was true from what the police are saying. Don't you love it? Don't you love these lies and liars? God. I sure wish my heart has grown cold.
It is such a sharp slap in the face when you experience something and the person that you experience it with completely turns it completely around and they lie through their teeth. The principal told ABC7 that police never told him there was a threat and when he told the officers that the student was not at school they refused to believe the principal and yeah like the principal is going to be hiding a student that the police are looking for this student that the police believe attempted to murder somebody and the principal is going to hide him the police just didn't believe the principal and he's claiming the principal is claiming that they put a hundred students at risk those lies are meant for them to save face I want people to be held accountable yay yay 2018 I want people to be held accountable wow Finally, parents, why aren't you storming that police department? After being informed by the administration that the student was not at school, the Denver Police Department waited approximately 15 minutes, during which time they, con they conferred with the uh, Denver Police police as I don't know what that is Department of Safety I guess yeah Department of Safety before conducting a search they refused to produce a warrant well guess what the police don't have to produce a warrant anymore you're not living in the United States your country has been taken over get it it's gone you have no more rights and these incidences that occur with the police traumatizing students in a school, traumatizing the, the teachers, guess what? Read 1984. The boot in your face. We're living it. And so many people have experienced it. And because Americans are just sitting back and allowing this to occur, more and more students and teachers and just ordinary American citizens will be traumatized. How many people have experienced the police busting down their doors? Oh, I don't need a warrant. That's go to YouTube, watch the videos. Our Supreme Court, <laughs> our institutions are a complete and utter joke and not a good one, not a ha-ha joke, but just a surreal joke. It's Supreme Court ruled, hey, the police can make mistakes, giving the police incentive to do whatever the hell they want. Oh, I made a mistake. Footage of the police raid on the school has yet to be publicly released, but if you would like to contact the Denver Police Department to voice your opinion on this incident, here is the telephone number, or visit the department's Facebook page, and here is the hyperlink, and you can watch the news report about this, and I do get an awful lot of people commenting when I post videos like this and they say oh it's fake news it didn't happen they're just they're just you know uh, it's all fake to scare people it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter even if it's fake news it does scare an awful lot of Americans because an awful lot of Americans don't really have much courage whatsoever and it works And, my God, how sick is our nation? 
How sick is our police that they could actually do this? But if it's fake news, that's just as twisted and sick as well. We've got a problem. We have a major problem. And parents, my God, don't let this continue. Please don't let this continue. The link is below.